first off, I just want to say sorry to y'all that I have been looking kind of rough on the last videos. My skin is breaking out, like my face, my hair was doing like as if it wanted to come out. My body is breaking out. When they say girls steal your beauty, it is true. So, um, yeah, sorry that I've been looking kind of rough these last few videos, but I'm going to get it together soon. What's up, y'all? Um, so, as you can see, I am not in my normal recording spot, and that is because I am at my sister's house in my niece's room. And I promised y'all that I would be recording a video um, every day and posting every day for two weeks straight. So, I am sticking to my promise. So, regardless of where I got to be, um, you know, I'm going to make it happen. Today, I will be doing a video on my experiencing with doing the non-invasive prenatal testing. And if you don't know what that is, that is the blood testing where they test um, for different chromosomal, chromosomal, dis chromos different chromosomal disorders. I think that's how you say the word. So um, I have my results here, so I'm gonna be looking back and forth on my phone um, so that I could tell y'all. So they test for tris trisomy 21, 18, 13, monosomy X and triploidy and then you also can know the gender so um when I was looking at videos trying to figure out um how was this process going to work how long was it going to take other people's experience I could not find many videos on this and I also got a lot of dms um I guess people just assumed I did it that way because I didn't go out telling nobody hey I'm taking the NIPT but People assume that I did it that way. And a lot of um, newer moms are doing it this way because simple fact that you can find out if anything is wrong with your baby early. I think you can do it as soon as 10 weeks. It used to be eight weeks. My sister found out at eight weeks when she did it and that was three years ago. But um, a lot of newer moms are doing, doing it because you can find out what's wrong and because you can know your gender early and don't have to wait until 20 week mark or whatever. So I did it for both reasons. I did want to find out my gender early and I also wanted to know if the baby was okay and was I going to be dealing with a baby that had any chromosomal disorders. Everything came back normal and fine and it said low risk. So I'm just going to first off tell y'all how my whole process went. So um, I went in for an appointment and when I went in, uh, it was my second prenatal appointment and I was 11 weeks and they were like, all right, you're at the three month mark. They already told me at my last appointment that I had the option to take these. They gave me like a carrier screening or I could do the panorama results. And I decided to do the panorama because my sister has experience in doing this and I wanted to do my whole pregnancy like how my sister did it and use everything she did. So um, I was like, yeah, I wanna do this. So when I came in, they're like, all right, Miss Turner, they did my weight and everything. Actually, I lost weight, not gained weight. Um, but I've gained weight now, but I lost weight when I did the testing and then they came in and they were like, all right, they asked me a few questions like about genetical disorders that was in my family, that was in his family and I answered those questions. I that they kind of just talked with me if you had any concerns or none of this. Boom. Okay, I'm going to take you in the waiting room, then your doctor's going to call you back. So I went to the waiting room, my doctor called me back like, hey, um, for... Well, because most insurances don't cover it, because I thought I was going to get an ultrasound. Um, I don't get an ultrasound every time I go. But, um, yeah, so I came in and my doctor, um, he was like, yeah, because most insurances don't cover it, but we're still going to make sure the baby's okay. You're going to use a fetal heart Doppler, which is a very sensitive versus the ones that people could buy that you can't hit a baby's heart to like 30 weeks or something. And we're just going to listen to the heartbeat and everything looks normal. Then we have no other reason to give you an ultrasound because ultrasound just tracks the growth. So I was like, okay, he was like, head to your second trimester, um, the baby is fully developed already. Not really much is gonna happen here from, from here on out besides them growing. So I'm like, okay, cool. I, of course I wanted to see my baby because they're like th three times bigger than what they were the first time. But I was like, you know what? As long as I hear the heartbeat, I know they lie. I know they alive. And I didn't know gender at this point. I was like, um, as long as I know that he or she is okay. So it gave me some sanity that I listened to the heartbeat. And then after that, he was like, okay, now we're gonna do and get, actually get your um, blood testing. So 
I went in the waiting room. No, I went down in this room and then he, he was like, okay, hi, you're here for your blood testing. And I said, yeah. And the woman that was there was so nice. Um, I went with the, what is she called? Some type of tech. I don't know, she's the one that took my blood. And she was super sweet. And I sat down and she was like, hey, um, have you um, drunk any water and have you ate? I said, I ate, but I haven't drunk water. She was like, girl, you know you, know you gotta get our baby some fluids. And y'all, I'm not a water drinker. I have gotten better with drinking it because I know I have to, like, regardless, whether I like it or not. But I'm not a water drinker. So it's like, I knew I needed to. I wasn't thinking, I was like, I know they're gonna be taking blood, so as long as I'm eating, I'm gonna be fine. And I kind of was in a rush to get to my appointment, and I was kind of late, and I lost, I forgot how to get to the office. That was this whole story. So, um, I got there, and after I got um, there, she was all right, we're gonna sit down, and we're gonna take your blood. And she was making me really comfortable. She was like, oh, you want a boy, you're a girl, you gotta find out your gender, all this other stuff, all right, cool, cool. So we're just talking while she's getting everything ready, and she, um, before she put the needle in or whatever and she was just telling me um how everything was gonna go and she took my blood and because it was my first time giving blood throughout my whole pregnancy she kind of took a lot i'm not gonna say this is exactly but i saw like 13 tubes like this big and y'all they tested my blood for a lot of different things um i can type on the screen what all they tested for there's some big old words when i said like they did a white blood cell count red blood cell count hemoglobin count like they tested a whole bunch of different stuff like they tested me if i had diabetes along with the other panorama uh testing the results for it, for the genetical and the gender so after um they did that testing oh no so i got it done and she just made me super comfortable she's like okay yeah we took a lot of blood so you need to go eat after this because you might feel a little weak and nauseous you still are getting close to the end of the first trimester so you know you still want to make sure you're hydrating and all that so i was like okay cool and she was like i'm gonna give you this access code which my sister said they didn't give her when she was got her testing done that was three years ago though she was like if you check this code you can see your results directly from the place that the blood goes to like the natura site versus you gotta wait on a doctor to call you which they still never called they sent me something in my um my chart they sent me something in my chart stating that my results were available the next day after i already found out but um yeah i would basically i was checking that and she was like yeah um they can be available as early as 72 hours so y'all know i was checking their website every five minutes okay so i got the testing done on may 18th and the from what the report shows which i'll put on the screen the day the blood test they had to send my blood to california they got it the next day um so i'm checking in my every 72 hours that friday i'm like okay it could be on here no so i checked out weekend and then i got it you know memorial day was that following monday so they already had told me that memorial day would not count into the days that my if they told me seven five to ten business days i think working days so and like you know memorial day won't count so i'm like oh okay it's not on there monday so it's like four o'clock in the morning and it's may 26 so i got my blood drawn on may 18th and i got it may 26. um it was my boyfriend's birthday, May 26th, and I was up, he was working, so I was kind of up on the phone with him talking. Something told me, like, check to see if your results are in. So it was like four o'clock in the morning, dog, and I saw them results in, like, go watch my gender reel so you can see my reaction to opening my results. But I saw that my results were, gonna, were in, and I was like, bruh. So when I checked it, now we're to what y'all wanted to know. So, how long did it take me to get my results? 19, 20, 21, 2, 10, 3, 10, 4, 10, 5, 26. So, it took a total of eight days for me to get my uh, panorama results back. So, uh, I got my results back and everything said low risk. I was low risk of every genetical disorder that they tested for, which I was super happy about and I'm su super grateful. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, these test results are 99.7% accurate because your actual blood as along with the gender um fetal sex says female i will put it right here on the screen so that's how i knew it was a girl and like this your blood is more accurate that's just like if you take a pregnancy test that you get out of walmart versus you go to the hospital and you get a 
blood doctor test. Like, you know if the blood wasn't going to be the one that's real. You know, your blood is you. So, um, versus, if you know, I would have waited, which I didn't want to wait because they told me I wouldn't get another ultrasound until I was in my July appointment. And I was already going to be five months in July. And it's June now. So, I was like, I don't want to wait till I'm five months. Um, I want to know. So, um... I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and I can get those testings. Now, let me tell y'all, time is going by so quick. When people be like, your pregnancy goes by so fast, bro. Like, I'm in the second trimester already. Like, where did the time go? I feel like I just announced it. But, um, yeah, so I got that. I got those results. What was I saying? Oh, so I got the results on his birthday and then I looked at everything and I saw I was a female. Oh, this is what I was saying. So I was saying that um, versus if you know, I did the blood test because of the accuracy of it. And of course, I wanted to know um, if my baby would have any genetical disorders as well as her, the gender, which is a girl. So um, versus if you know, you go through an ultrasound tech, they kind of look and most of the time they're right, but they can tell you wrong and say it's a boy. They look and think it's a girl or a boy or they have to have someone else come check like, does this look like a boy? No, this is like a girl. So I knew I wanted that accuracy because me, I know once I find out I'm going shopping. That's what I wanted to do. Everything was on sale, I'm going shopping. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I need that accuracy. Also, I don't want to wait till I'm five months because that mean I got a little less time to get everything together. So, um, yes. So then after that, I got everything done. And, uh, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so I knew it was a girl and I was so happy. I really wanted a girl. I knew I was going to have a girl. Um, I just knew I was going to have a girl already. But sometimes I had my uncertainty like, I don't know. But I knew it was going to be a girl. So, yeah, that's how my experience was with my um, getting my NIP testing done. I hope this was helpful to other women, women or new moms out there that are getting the testing done, that have no idea what it's going to be like, that have no idea how it works, that have no idea what they test for. I hope this was very helpful and informative to anyone that's out there getting it. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section, or you can follow me on Instagram and DM me on Instagram with your questions questions if you did the um results if you did the nip testing let me know your experience um how did it go are you having a boy or are you having a girl did you wait to see your gender or did you not um yeah thank y'all so much for watching um peace out